in the eighth place seed for this Contenders Cup, hailing from Australia and representing Team Disaster, qualifying from being the eighth place on the SEAO leaderboard with 42 points. It is Paper Flare. How long have you been playing Shadowverse? I've been playing Shadowverse since basically the beginning. Uh, I, it's been on and off. I've only started taking the game seriously since Omer's Holmes. What are your favorite classes to play? There's only one favorite class that I do like to play. I like playing Sword and not really much else. <laughs> if, if I need to, I, I will pick up other classes and try and learn them, but I, I usually gravitate towards Sword. How would you describe your play style in three words? In, in my three in three words, I'll describe my playstyle as more aggressive, proactive, and more high rolly than the usual player. How do you approach a meta game? You know when it's developing. I, I feel like a lot of players when they're approaching a tournament uh, meta game, they would pick three decks that uh, work together and the bands work together. I don't really do that. Since uh, I'm not very good at playing like decks that I consider like more difficult than usual, like Forest or like, I, I found Magachia too hard last expansion. I would just pick three decks that I think uh, are good enough that I can play and do decent to the current metagame and I would just bring those instead. What are the benefits that being part of a team gives you for participating in SVO? Can you lay some of those out for us? You get to share your uh, your decks and ideas together. So, Essia, you know, he plays a lot of forests and zones, of course, as well. And we we usually get the uh, the the early info on their decks. I think it was last sometime last expansion, Essia topped a one a JCG with uh, Magia. We we already knew the deck uh, like way beforehand because he was like testing it, he was showing it, he was uh, telling us the combos and stuff like that. So you get the early information, you get you get other players' insights, like, because most players don't uh, have the same play style or like uh, deck building um, principles. So you can see how they build their decks and then you can incorporate into your like own ideas. Uh, regarding your experience in SVO specifically, has there been a favorite moment from when you were competing in SVO that springs to mind? My favorite uh, moment from SEO this year is uh, the moment I beat Bima to enter the semifinals in uh, the July Cup. Uh, I, I was super excited that I, I got to, like, I didn't die in the bracket stage and got uh, past at least one round. So, over the course of the year in SVO, did you have a strategy for qualifying for the Contenders Cup or were you just focused on winning an SVO and Contenders Cup was sort of ancillary to that? My strategy for usually qualifying for the Cup, it, it probably won't work uh, all the time. Uh, Vita probably has a better strategy since he's like qualified basically every year. But <laughs> I just play the best you can. If you uh, if you lose like two rounds, don't 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 concede. Those those points do matter. And most of the times when you go like early, t when you lose two uh, two early sets like really early on, the you will be put in the bracket where most of the players aren't weaker, but uh, they like don't care anymore. And they will just they might just straight up not check in, so you just get those three points. Do you have an opponent that you want to play the most, or conversely, an opponent that you don't want to play that you want to play the least? Uh, the opponent I want to play the least is actually my round one opponent. It's uh, Life. Uh, we talk <laughs> we we talk quite a bit. He's uh, I don't know if you know this, but he's uh, pretty good at the game. Yeah, three SVO winner wins ratings cup. <laughs> kind of terrifying. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Do you have a favorite win condition in Shadowverse? Like, do you like OTKs? Do you like aggro? What's your favorite win condition? My, my favorite win condition of all time, it, it came from uh, a certain card called Erica. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, basically you just pump your alley and then you just kill him with a uh, Erica combo. It, it was uh, probably, it, it's one of my favorite win conditions. The other one, which is, uh, which is in the opposite direction, it's probably flags. Flags and Barbaros. I, I really enjoy completing the quest with loot. I, I enjoy uh, playing the flags and winning off the, uh, the huge damage that comes from it. Playing in a tournament can be mentally stressful, demanding. How do you deal with that pressure when you're actually playing competitive Shadowverse? Playing in a tournament uh, is mentally demanding. Uh, how I usually uh, handle pressure and maintain focus is I will try to play as slowly as possible. Not too slowly that I run the clock, of course, but slow enough that uh, I can think of the correct play while acting on it and not immediately misplay. Of course, this doesn't always go to plan and I still panic, but if that happens uh, and you lose the first round because of it, 
take a few, maybe a few seconds break to calm down before you start the next round immediately. This will let you calm down a bit. So you won't just go in like either terrified or sad or angry. You, yeah, you're, you're not carrying not over that, that, yes. that bad mindset into the next game, yeah. Yes. Finally, do you have anyone you want to give a shout out to? Uh, any any people to mention? Any uh, you know your team, your 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 script mates? Anyone you want to give a shout out? Oh, of course. Uh, I have plenty of people to shout, shout out on. Uh, my team, of course, Team Zastra, but particularly uh, uh, Essia, uh, Buttercup, mm -hmm. uh, previous Omen Storm's uh, champion with uh, the popular Winds of Chaos, <laughs> and uh, of course, particularly Harpu. Uh, Harpu. Even though she did not make it to contenders this year, she worked extremely hard to try to make it, and she helps me a lot with uh, practicing and screaming. Uh, I would also like to give a shout out to, of course, Jian, the the uh, beaten opponent, just so I could be here. Yeah, Jian beating everybody just so you could make it through in eighth place is very funny. But you know, that's the yeah. power of friendship, man. That's the power of friendship. <laughs> he tried his absolute best. I, I I respect him a lot for that. <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, some of my in real life friends. They they've been uh, quite supportive of me with Shadowverse. Uh, they, they even though they don't understand the game or what goes on, they will still like watch together. The one time I talked, they they got together to watch me uh, lose in some finals. So that was great. <laughs> uh, they, that's uh, so wholesome. Yeah, I know they made fun of me after that for that as well. But it was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that should be everyone. All right, thank you, Paper Flare, so much for, for giving us your time. Appreciate it. Good luck preparing for this. It's BO5, not BO3, so it's completely different. <laughs> yeah, there's no bands, right? Yeah, no bands, yeah. But give it your best. Thank you for that.